This is a 6,000 watt Typhoon off-road electric bike. It's got the foot peg kit installed and I'm showing this with the intent of demonstrating with and without the plastics on it including the seat because I just recently performed a rewiring of all the wiring on the bike. I didn't really change the connectors anywhere however I changed all the contact points with the bike and added lots of conduit and zip ties, heat shrink tubing. I tried to keep water out by adding lots of silicon seal onto the power converter, or rather power controller. You can see here I, I built up quite a bit of silicone seal. Um, it, it did have seal there before, but it wasn't really as sturdy, and I'm not sure if they used this grade of silicone. But I also sealed the end covers of the controller at the end planes in order to keep water out of there as well. I think that was a uh, certainly a, a leak path. And I put silicon also around the power switch and the LED right here. Water had uh, intruded and destroyed the controller before. Fortunately, uh, high power cycles replaced it under warranty. Uh, I think that in reality this bike should be a lot more uh, impervious to water given that it's deemed as a off-road bike and water is certainly part of the picture but I zip tied down all the the, the wiring and, and tried to place it as well as possible it's very uh, sturdy and divided it up so that you know there's a left and right side and if I need to service it it'll be easier. Uh, again I added conduit over here. This is the uh, the leads for the battery charging and these are the leads for the the battery to go to the controller. I tried to tuck those all out of the way and, and make sure that nothing can move around. I don't want any uh, wiring rubbing chafing in any way that could cause a short. I also tucked all these wires in tight and zip tied them down. Uh, I may like to put even more protection on there but uh, this is a vulnerable portion certainly right here for off-road use because if the bike drops these wires could get cut on rocks or whatever it may fall on. And I have plans of building a, uh, a skid plate to protect the motor so I can wrap around in this area, possibly connect into the bolts for the battery box. But, you know, my intent is to have this as a off-road use, pretty much only, bike. And therefore, these will all help out tremendously. I'm not too excited about where the the uh, cycle analyst is mounted because, again, this could get damaged in a, a fallover or brush or whatnot. So we'll see what I can end up doing on that. It may be possible to locate it a little lower so it's, it's not the high point. But this uh, aluminum does provide protection in conjunction with the the seat and plastics when they're installed so this whole area is tied together